my god, dude. I was like, what is this? Don't forget to bring a towel. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> Well, if you know, you know. I don't love napkins, I don't love plates. Normalized cutting boards is plates, and normalized towels is napkins. Oh my god. Towley himself, now a character and huge piece of the vlog. Who sent this? When you get out of the water, you need to dry off right away to avoid catching a cold. From Mike Goodrich, dude, I'm good 23. Michael, thank you so much, dude. So thoughtful. Thanks, Tally. You wanna get high? No. Ooh. So this box is from David Black. Uh, last week, like two weeks ago, actually, before I left for New Orleans, uh, I opened this. Enjoy your gift. Thought this would make for a fun video and hope Allie enjoys the sour candies. Thanks for all your entertaining content. David Black. Most wanted gourmet barbecue sauces and rubs. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Look at this. David, thank you, my friend. Wow. You jealous, bro? Montreal rub, barbecue sauce, honey, Memphis, sriracha, Jamaican jerk, Cajun. Oh, we're gonna use this in the future. Thank you. And then as I was in New Orleans, this showed up to the UPS store, so I finally get to unbox it. I believe this is for Allie. Do you wanna open this? I just took Allie's yoga class, so I'm all showered and ready for the day. She's still sitting in a pile of her own filth. Gross, don't tell people that. You worked your ass off today, you should be proud of it. I am proud of it. There's a lot of people sitting at home that did nothing today. You worked your ass off. Do I look gross? <laughs> what a cute little box. Oh my god, what an amazing box. Oh my god. Holy. Ah, see, I could do a workout around <laughs> then. Look at this dog. It sounds like a treat for Lionel. Oh my god, look, there's like a little hamburger. What? It's from David Black. Oh my gosh, thank you, David. Oh my god, this is actually amazing. Well, how, are you, how are you doing this? I want to try these little hamburgers. Sour mini burger. They make me eat stuff I don't want to eat all the time. <laughs> Cheers. Sour candy is so not my thing. I love sour candy. <laughs> I wish this was a real burger. I don't. Damn, that's good. David, that was awesome. Oh my God. There's more. Oh no, this is for, wow, this is from David Demansek. Sean, a little gift for Allie. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Holy. <laughs> more? Oh. oh my God. Oh, you got more stuff than I did. Allie's deadpan attitude in life really gets people to shell out for. That is oh my God. heavy. All right. Wow. If you guys want to send me something, this is the uh, address to do it. It goes to a secure location. I call it my studio. And then I pick it up and I open it on camera. Wow. Thank you. Wow. David Demanchik. The David. David squared. David and David. David. This feels remarkably selfless. Let's move on to the portion of the vlog where I'm the main character, but I feel imposter syndrome right now. Silence number two. No. I've had enough of you pushing me around. The nostalgia factor today is at an all time high because I haven't had a Kraft Singles grilled cheese sandwich and a Campbell's tomato soup platter in 25 years. You guys, hello, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to Nostalgia Kitchen. Not a name, but very nostalgic today. I gotta imagine that a single person watching this video hasn't been familiar with this. The Kraft Singles, the American cheese of all cheeses, always made with milk. They're individually wrapped. They look kind of like playing cards or throwing stars when you fan them out like Katana. Katana. And then Campbell's condensed family style tomato soup. Great, paired with grilled cheese. Oh yeah. And then we've even got milk to use instead of water because on the instructions for this, it actually says pour the soup in to the soup pot and then a can of water. No, no, no. The person that made, is that her? This one possible here today, Megan Jeffries. 
whatever bread you want, whatever cheese you want, but it has to be Campbell's tomato soup. I know it's pronounced tomato, it's just funny to say tomato. Fill the can with milk and stir. I mean, you're smart. You know not to cook it too quickly. <laughs> I'm not that bright, but thank you. I sent this photo in about three group chats here today. This was the guy in front of me at 11.30 in the morning. He had just tall boys of twisted tea, Arnold Palmer, spiked, and then bread, and rice a This is actually me in like 25 years. This might be me now. My buddy Michael S., who you know from the vlog, he said, Jesus, I'm hungover for him. Surprise he's not after those discounted Slim Jims. <laughs> I'm excited for this one today. Megan, thank you so much for all the support with the vlog. Wow. Need a pot and a pan. Sorry this is in the shot and was in the shot, but look at this. It just looks like something from like Wally. -E. I'm actually surprised this isn't like a pop top, to be honest. I mean, I have the Jesse Moths can opener, but it's actually just kind of surprising to me that they don't make it as easy as possible to open Campbell's. Like, I wonder if they just were like, dude, no. Maybe the smaller ones? No sharp edges. My dad was a big grilled cheese and tomato soup guy. I kind of like, liked tomato soup early on in life and then kind of hated it after and I really and now I love it also they make a tomato bisque version of this is that people that eat soups from the grocery store is that one better is that one better Mike's vlog tomato soup <laughs> in there it all came out in one form. and then whole milk for all the flavor fill this up and then just kind of do a little bit Stir. I wonder if my dad did milk instead of water. I should text him. Seems like something my dad would do too. White shirt was stupid for this. Did I already get... Luckily, there'll be no Rory boil today because it even says on the instructions, do not allow it to boil. A very low, simmery, you know, a, a gradual heat. Oh, it does say you can use for creamier soups, use milk, but it says one can of 1% milk. Okay. What is it, 1994? Who's buying 1% milk? This is Jump Cut It Together, but I promise you I've been doing this gradually. <laughs> it does get a much more appealing color than just kind of that bright, bright red. I produced a cooking segment in New Orleans at the School of Cooking. Should I actually wear? I actually got this for Allie, but what's mine is hers, you know? Not really an apron guy, but kind of feeling it today, you know? Throw the whole rest of the thing and go whew, right in there. You go. There it is. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna move this to the back burner just to kind of simmer. And then in this one, I'm gonna melt a big old knob of butter. I really want Duke's mayonnaise. Also, I'm not a noob. I'm using mayonnaise to make this grilled cheese. I'm not gonna use butter. Like, I've realized that in life, mayonnaise is the answer <laughs> to most problems. I got this Hellman's for a recipe, and I'm working through it. So as soon as this is gone, we're going back to Duke's. Liberal. Liberal amount, real liberal amount. Both pieces of bread, I'm also gonna make Allie a sandwich. Here's something I actually want your guys' opinions on. What is the magic number of Kraft Singles for a proper grilled cheese sandwich? Is it three? Is it five? <laughs> What's the answer? Also, you probably don't really need the butter and the mayonnaise, but there's something so nostalgic about nearly killing yourself for lunch. <laughs> oh, the world we grew up in. I grew up in the era when like low fat on everything was like, People thought that was what you needed to buy. Low fat Doritos. And then doctors were like, wait, wait, we never, wait, we never said that. Butter is almost melted. Okay, going down. One piece. Two pieces. Three pieces. How many slices of cheese, Al? Seven. That seems, there's 60 calories per slice. I'm gonna do four? Is four aggressive? Yes. <laughs> Put this here. This one down. My mom would always say moderation is the key to life. Like anytime we were doing something a little gluttonous, you're like, well, you know, in moderation, it's okay. Okay, four slices. This is thickening nice over here. It's getting just a little bit of a layer added. A mayonnaise cheese sandwich. Fried in butter. I'm gonna flip this one. 
Ooh. This side a little lighter, so we'll kind of maybe reflip again. Another stir. Flip, flip, flip. Ooh, yeah, so just, I think it's because we're on like a little bit of a lean trying to, in the camera, I put both of these next to each other. If I was doing this in my own time, <laughs> I would put this one over here so it could probably cook evenly. I think I'm kind of pushed up close, but we'll figure it out. They're looking great. How's the grilled cheese? Actually, it's amazing. All right, I'm feeling good about this. Looking good, looking good. Nice little char. Sandwich one, sandwich two. <laughs> Lionel providing the halftime entertainment for us. Lionel, sing it. <laughs> and then here's the move. If you haven't had premium mini saltines in a bowl of soup or some chili, do so at your earliest convenience. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. I gave Allie a big bowl. Cut it into triangles, because I'm not a serial killer. That's the ooey gooey melt you want right there. This is what it's all about. Yeah, boy. Hey, Lionel, gonna need you to stop that. Hey, Megan Jeffries, how'd I do? Okay, for the first time in 25 years, I really don't make grilled cheese sandwiches like this. I normally put eggs on them and other stuff, so it's just like, this was just seemed basic. But grilled cheese right under the tomato soup. There's not much more American than that. Ellie oop Wow. It's incredible how much food can take you back two and a half decades. It's like I'm sitting on Columbia, in Redford, Michigan, in our little ranch house, at the same dining table that was used, like that my grandparents used, and then we had them playing home run derby or basketball in the driveway all day with Tyler and Travis and my brother. And then my mom has us go in, she makes us for everybody, and then we go back out and play till it's dark. That's what this is for me. I want to do more of these nostalgic, using the spoon to get the rest of the cheese that kind of spilled out to go onto the sandwich. I wanna do more of these this year. This is so cool. Megan, this was such a good idea. I wouldn't have just done this on my own. God, the dip is really at the move. I think I'm also pro aprons now. Mm. I think as an adult, I've probably bought a pack of American cheese three times. Like I just, nothing against it. I just really never buy it. And it's nice to every once in a while have it. Hmm. Megan, yeah, the milk in there just makes it that much thicker and more healthy. It's so good though. And these mini saltines, I started getting these from a chili recipe from like 10 years ago. And now whenever we see them for stuff like this, like it's perfect. They didn't like sell them in Bowling Green, Ohio, like where Allie's parents live, like her hometown. So sometimes we'll bring them home with us at Christmas so like her mom can have them for cooking. Like that's how much people love them. I think if you gave this to like a kid now, whose parent, I wonder, do kids probably don't eat this now? It would be like an apricot and a kale melt with cauliflower soup. <laughs> no, but one time we were, Allie and I were hiking in Colorado and this little kid was like, mom, can I have a, what did he say? Can I have a snack? I'm kind of saying it like he had an English accent, he didn't. And she was like, Apricot or fig? And he was like, apricot. And then I died. <laughs> Eat fruit by the foot, you weirdo. That could have lived to be 120. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I don't even remember. The dunk. If you give this to a kid now, would they be so disgusted? I think there's so much nostalgia built into this. It almost doesn't even taste like food. <laughs> it's just salty and Salty thick with three C's. That's all this is. It super really holds its heat well. Mmm, that's fun. Are we having fun yet? I made a really good grilled cheese then. Thank you. Shout out to Sean, Urban Visions, $15 cash app donation to the vlog. I appreciate you. He's always commenting and stuff. I dig it so much. Also, dude, solid name, dude. 
They just don't name him Sean anymore. Also, shout out to the Rory Boyle fan club, five bucks a month. The amount of people that jumped on that, I've like talked about it here and there, but the, the people that have supported, this is uh, the screen right now with all of their names. Thank you to these people. Buying supplies for the show. Megan buying this one today. Legends walking amongst us. Mm. Excited to chat grilled cheese and tomato soup with you. <clears throat> After I've had like tomato bisque soup from restaurants now, like this stuff is like so whack compared to that though. But there's a time and a place for this, I get it. I buy cream of mushroom and cream of chicken soup from Campbell's for recipes all the time. They kill it with that. Super fun one today. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. We'll keep rocking this winter with some more warming home cooked meals. <laughs> Pouring cans and pots. I'm gonna get out of here so you guys don't have to just watch me eat red liquid. Kraft Singles Grilled Cheese and Campbell's Tomato Soup up. Kraft Grilled Cheese and Campbell's Tomato Soup down. Be good to each other. So